Hi, this is Eric Kimmel again, and I've got another story. This one is from a great collection I was invited to participate in. It's Oregon Reads Aloud, a, a collection of 25 children's stories by Oregon authors and illustrators. And I'm going to share the one I contributed. It's called Waffles. Bart and Blake got up early one Saturday morning. I'm hungry, said Blake. I want breakfast. We have to wait till Mom and Dad wake up, said Bart. But I'm hungry now, said Blake. Have some cereal, said Bart. I hate cereal, said Blake. Have some eggs, said Bart. I hate eggs, said Blake. What do you want, said Bart. I want waffles, said Blake. Okay, said Bart. Let's make waffles. How do you make waffles, asked Blake. I know how, said Bart. First we need the waffle iron. It's way up there on the top shelf, said Blake. Let's get it, said Bart. Bart climbed on top of the kitchen counter. Then he climbed up on the lowest shelf. He stretched way, way up. He couldn't quite reach the waffle iron, but he reached the waffle iron cord. Bart pulled the cord. The waffle iron slid off the shelf. Thump! Crash! Bang! So did some other things. Catch! Bart yelled. Got it, said Blake. What's next? First we heat up the waffle iron, said Bart. Blake plugged in the cord. We'll mix the ingredients while it gets hot. We need a mixing bowl. Thump! Crash! Bump! Blake got a mixing bowl. What's next? We need flour, said Bart. How much, said Blake. Oh, about so much, said Bart. Blake poured about so much flour into the bowl. Now we need eggs, butter, and milk, said Bart. Blake got eggs, butter, and milk from the refrigerator. Plop, splash, splat. How many eggs do we need, asked Blake. Oh, about six or seven, said Bart. Blake dropped a stick of butter into the bowl. He broke about six or seven eggs in, too. At least, he thought it was six or seven. He lost count in the middle. Now the milk, said Bart. We need about so much. Blake poured about so much milk into the bowl. That's a lot of milk, he said. You need a lot of milk to make waffles, Bart told him. Now we need sugar and baking powder. That's what makes the waffles get big. How much do we need? asked Blake. About so much, said Bart. Blake poured in sugar and baking powder. Is that enough? he asked. Maybe a little more, said Bart. Hey, what about the huckleberries we picked with Mom up on Mount Hood? I love huckleberry pancakes, said Blake. Pour them all in, said Bart. Yeah, that looks about right. Blake stirred the flour, the milk, the butter wrapper, the sugar, the baking powder, the eggs, and some of the eggshells all together. I'm getting tired. This is hard work. Let me stir, said Bart. Blake and Bart took turns stirring until everything in the bowl was all mixed up. Now we pour the mix into the waffle maker. We're almost done, said Bart. Huckleberry waffles, yum! I can't wait, said Blake. Bart and Blake poured the mix into the waffle maker. This is going to be some waffles, said Bart. Won't Mom and Dad be surprised, said Blake? They certainly were. Now I have to show you this picture that Kate Berube illustrated for the story. They certainly were. So were the neighbors. Hope you like that one. And look for Oregon Reads Aloud in bookstores, because I just heard this morning there's going to be a paperback edition of the book. I can't wait. See you tomorrow with another story. Bye now.